Hello and welcome to the Real Unreal. In this video, we will learn how to implement a character's death in a Dark Souls style, going through every element that composes it. Let's get started. Project Setup Download the animation and sounds that you will find in the description. Create a new project using the third person template. Create a new directory named DS Death. Import the animation you downloaded, making sure to select these parameters. Create a new directory named Audio and import all the sounds you downloaded. In this tutorial, we will be creating a death effect with all the elements present in the Dark Souls death. Animation, Impact and Voice Sounds, Black and White Screen, Death sound effect and message. Open the third person character blueprint. The first thing we need is a dead state. Let's add a boolean variable to the character blueprint and name it is death. This will be the indicator we will be using to switch states in the animation blueprint. Assign a button to trigger the death. In my case, I will use the one key. To prevent from executing these effects more than once, add a do once node when pressing the key. Then update the is dead variable to true. Before moving to the animation blueprint, disable the character's movement calling the disabled movement function from the character movement component. Compile, save, and go to the animation blueprint, ABP Mani. Once in the animation blueprint, add another boolean variable named is death. We will synchronize this variable with the one in the character's blueprint. Go to the event graph, and in the blueprint initialize animation event, replace the cast to character with a cast to third person character, so we have access to the is dead variable. Also, it's important to update the type of the variable, which is under references in the variable section. Replace the type character with BP third person character. When the change variable type model shows up, press on change variable type, then close the message log and let's continue. Now add a new pin to the sequence node and using the character reference, get the is dead variable. Sync up the is dead animation blueprint variable with the character blueprint variable. Then go to the anim graph, go to main states, and add a new state alias. Name it to death. Select the alias and check locomotion, jump, fall loop, and land. In other words, all the other states. Drag the death animation to the graph to create a new state and connect the alias to it. Open the transition rule and set the is dead variable as the condition. If it's true, we will transition to the death animation. Compile, save, and press play. Press the one key, and you'll notice that the animation and the dead state are working. When you die in Dark Souls, there's two sounds that occur immediately. The character's voice dying, and an impact sound. This last one, I found a similar one from Pixabay, named Hit Swing Sword Small 2. It is in the assets you downloaded, but I'll leave a link in the description anyways to credit the author. We will play both sounds from a single sound cue. Go to the audio directory, right click, go to sounds, and select sound cue. Name it death underscore Q. Drag the sounds, hit swing, and all the woman dead ones 
to the Q's graph. Select all the woman dead ones and in the right panel, drag a random node. This will automatically connect the three sounds to the node. Now, select the hit swing sound and the random node. Again, in the right panel, drag a mixer node. This will add a node with both elements you selected already connected. Then, in the mixer details, open the input volume parameter and set 2 in the index 0 and set 0 0.25 in index 1. This is to compensate for the default volume of the sound files. Save and go to the character's blueprint. After the disabled movement node, add a plain sound to the node and in sound, select the cue you just created. Compile, save and press play. Press the one key and you will notice that the sound is being played along with the animation. And that's it for the first part. Check the description for the second and last part of the tutorial.